In this topic, we're going to discuss the transport of water, the movement up the stem. So by the end of this topic, you should be able to answer the questions, how does water move up the stem? What are the two properties of water that cause mass flow? And what experiment can you do to test that water moves in xylem? And then finally, you should be able to draw the vascular bundles in a stem. So how does water move up xylem? Well, water from the roots pushes water up the xylem from below. So the pressure at the top of a plant is less than the pressure at the bottom. But this cannot explain all the movement. So water moving out of the leaves draws water behind it because water molecules are attracted to each other by cohesion. So we call this the transpiration pull. So if you look at this diagram here, you can see that water molecules are moving from the xylem into the mesophyll cells and then evaporating into the air spaces before they diffuse through the stomata or stoma. As they do this, they pull the other water molecules along. So this helps to move the water up through the plant. And we call this the transpiration pull. So transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves and the loss of water vapor to the atmosphere. Water vapor can diffuse out of the leaf when the stomata open. Water is pulled up the xylem and the stem from the roots to the leaves by the transpiration pull. The water is then used in photosynthesis and also to stop the plant from wilting. Now, as water is being used up or lost from the leaves, more is sucked up from the xylem vessels. It's kind of like water being sucked up through a straw. Now, there are two important properties of water that cause mass flow. The first is cohesion. The water molecules tend to attract to uh, attract each other, sticking together, as you can see in this diagram here. And then you've got adhesion, which is the water molecules also tend to stick to the inside of the xylem vessel. Now, we discussed the transpiration pull. So what is the transpiration stream? This is the continuous flow of water from the roots to the leaves. So we call this the transpiration stream. Now, how can you identify that water travels through xylem? Well, if you take a shoot, for example, celery, and you place it in dye. So in the lab, we use Eason dye, which is an orange dye. After a few hours, you then cut through the stem, and you'll notice that little vascular bundles will stain red. So where there's xylem, it'll stain red. So if you place these cut slides um, onto a slip and then look under the microscope, you'll notice where the xylem is located. Okay, so the dye will be seen in the xylem vessels only. Now in the lab, what we did was we put the celery stick into food coloring, and you can do this at home, where the celery stick will suck up the food coloring, and then after a few hours, if you cut through the celery, you'll notice, like in this picture here, the little vascular bundles. So where the xylem is located in the stem, you'll see it staining whatever color the food coloring was. So in your notes, you need to have drawn this diagram, a section through the stem. Notice where the xylem is. It's towards the middle. And notice how the vascular bundles, so that's the xylem and phloem, are located around the stem, so towards the periphery of the stem. Here you can see an actual slice through a stem. I'm looking at it under the microscope, so notice the xylem. How do you identify the xylem? The lignin walls have stained red. So you've got the xylem and next to the xylem the phloem. And then you've got another group of cells towards the outside of the um, vascular bundle, and these cells help support the vascular bundle in this plant. So in a stem, a flowering plant, the vascular bundles are located towards the periphery. Okay, in summary, we looked at how water moves up through the stems. Remember the transpiration pull and transpiration stream and the differences in pressure. 
And then the experiment to test that water moves in the xylem. So you put the shoot into any dye, so um, eosin dye, and where the vascular bundle of xylem is located, you should see it staining red. And then you should be able to draw the vascular bundles in a